Yo, what is up guys, it's Fully Space here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing five kind of different types of scenarios or things that you can build in the new 1.17 snapshot. Um, so I'm going to start off here with our first one. We actually have a little kitchen going on. I'm just going to show you a little few tips and tricks. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to head in. And uh, as you see here, we're using the re uh, the rods on the top here and the banners connected to those to make to some like makeshift curtains so you can pull them along. Uh, you can have them on one side or both sides so you can pull each side along. Uh, or you can knock these ones down, or those, and then pull them all the way across. That's what you could get. Uh, you can also use powdered snow in um, a cauldron as well now. So that kind of looks like milk, and then you can obviously put like a campfire underneath. So like you're kind of warming up this milk. Um, and then obviously we've got some candles on the side, a bit of cake, and your simple kind of um, furnished kitchen area here. And then obviously the spruce and barrel or combination for the floor. Really nice little simple kitchen design. Um, so yeah, that's our number one of five little wall designs that scenarios things we've got going on here uh, our second one is actually a farm based one so if you've seen my previous video that was kind of based off using the snapshot behind me there you'll see i actually showed the melons with the candlestalks on top in top as well as the pumpkins with the candlestalks on top and you can just use candlestalks in the ground to look like kind of go growing carrots um sprouting out but haven't quite made it to this obviously we've got some actual carrots here and then we've got the small ones you can actually use these a little uh, kind of like sproutings as if they're just coming out so you know creating a small little um farm design here obviously i've got missing pieces here and there and it gives it more of an effect obviously when you're playing in something like survival uh, you're never going to really use or m kind of maximize you want to maximize the amount of space that you can use so obviously these gaps here as much as it looks better it will be completely pointless to do something like this in survival so it's purely for aesthetic looks once again so obviously you can have uh, candles and on top of cactuses and melons to create those little stalks um so yeah it's really up to you what you want to do i'm just showing you a few little tips and tricks to kind of improve your little world number three uh, this is a nice little simple one i actually really enjoy building this so what i've done here is created this little small cave uh, and then obviously we have an entrance i've just made a black wall so it looks like it's really dark in there um we've got redstone ore with vines on top they look like cherry vines and we've got copper ore with uh, vines as well, they kind of look like some sort of peaches or something um, behind that. And then obviously we've got rails that go in with TNT carts. We've got candlesticks on top of the TNT, so it looks like a fuse, or you can have them by themselves, so it looks like a stick of dynamite. And basically we're gonna go to town and be little demolitions and kind of ruin this little cave going on here. It could be a mining cave or something, but it just gives you a little few tips on what you can kind of do and uh, um, in, kind of improve on in your world and just if you want these general designs if you wanted like uh, you was playing on an SMP and you kind of are like a demolition guy and you can go around destroying things um, maybe you want to set up some sort of little demolition role playing places that you can have little inspiration like this I'm using beehives and barrels here just to give off these little storage areas where we're kind of moving all our stuff over to this cave to get ready to kind of go in and destroy it. Next up is number four what we got going on here is a just a simple kind of um mechanical design so this is more industrial based you got like basically using copper and rods you can create kind of crazy wiring so it looks like wires are going into here and they head up this chain that like, kind of carries electric or something hits here charges this up obviously this looks like a kind of battery that charges everything up so you can see the charge or something of it then uh, obviously these actually work but you could probably make some sort of industrial thing that looks crazy and actually functions really well so you could obviously have some oil smelt of stuff going on with this but for now this is kind of what i came up with not actually functional but i imagine someone out there who is a genius can actually do it then obviously we got some uh, lava behind tinted glass to look like some oil kind of running the whole circuit in the back and obviously it would all go into the barrels if it was all actually properly hooked up unfortunately i'm not a redstone genius so that's not uh, gonna happen and then obviously we got some nice little copper blocks and weather copper blocks create this floor look like it's a bit worn down it's like an everyday factory kind of used um, and obviously this is the machine and the device that we got so with the new update we can create a lot of the um, new industrial kind of builds so that's going to be something quite interesting to see when the new update comes out and then for our last one it's quite similar to the previous one with the TNT and everything this one we've got a cannon design here with the fuse on top using a candle and we're just kind of blowing our way into this cave with TNT candles that look like um, dynamites once again so yeah, just a simple little design there, um, nothing too fancy, obviously just, this is literally just built from hand, um, same with all of these, obviously we're in a super flat world, built everything by hand, uh, it's just a bunch of texturing and then throwing down some TNT, little red candlesticks, and then building this cannon as well. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you all soon, peace.